Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another video. We're gonna be doing another painting today and today I'm doing it with my boy. Hey Liam, can you wave? Say hi. Hi. We're gonna be doing a little painting. This is gonna be my canvas uh, right there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be having a little bit of fun. So uh, I got mine taped up. Let me flip this thing around real quick. There we go. So I got mine uh, taped up a little bit. Little man over here has his taped up. He's already going to town. I'm gonna do a little background and uh, and then we will do a little bit more taping for some, some other background stuff as well. So uh, hang on just a second, let me get this thing started and, and we'll get to painting. Okay, so we're gonna start laying some color down. Uh, I'm gonna try a little something different uh, than usual. We're gonna be doing some white in the background. So I'm gonna cover the whole thing in white and then hopefully the paint colors that we add to it will, uh, uh, will what the fuck am I trying to say, they will blend up a little bit better, you know, kind of like fade out and get lighter, especially for this background area. I don't want it to be uh, super like dark. I want it to kind of be light and then we'll add a little bit more darkness to it later on for the idea that I've got going on in my head right now um, to give it a little bit more depth. So basically all I'm doing right now is just adding a, I don't know, medium coat of, of white. It's nothing too, too crazy, but we're just doing a medium coat of it right across here and then my idea is I want to do some blues in it just like this it is sky buddy you like look at your little hairdo did you just wake up <laughs> nice you did all right so we're gonna so see that so we just Thank you, Bubba. I appreciate it. I love you. Is that light blue? It is light blue. What color you got? Um, black, white, red, white, green, black. Nice. <laughs> All right. White, white, green, black. I have white and light blue and purple. And these are my background colors right here. We're going to try to fade those guys together. Get some good mix in there, yeah? What's up? That is so pretty. You can add some green to it. Show us a little bit of green. You got a little bit of black? Nice, nice. Look at you go. That a boy. Very nice, very nice. And and what are you doing over there? You spreading it? Yeah. Okay. It's it's black and red and white. Nice, very nice. And over here I have some uh, purple and blue mixed with some whites, and that created kind of a nice little fade. I could probably do with a little bit more blue. But I like it. All right, so we're going to stop right there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this dry and then tape up for the next area, and then we'll move on from there. <laughs> All right, so I'm over here just drying. Uh, like I said in another video, I like to use a light heat from a heat gun. Helps to kind of dry it up a little quicker. Um, just ba barely touching it, you know, nothing enough to, like, bubble the paint or anything like that. I don't want to cook it. But uh, just a little bit of hot wind on it kind of helps to... Uh, Cure it a little faster, especially in the cooler weather. And in the meantime, little man's over here painting. How you looking there, Slick? I'm painting some cool triangles. Some cool triangles? What colors you got? Green and white, black and red and white. Nice. You want a few more colors? Um, sure. What color you want? You want some more red? Some more red. Okay, let's give you a big old glob of it. Yeah? Like this, some green. Like that, some green? Look, there's a bunch of red right there for you. How about that? Dun, dun. Smear that around. And you want this green? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Here goes the squirt. There it is. Here. All right. Here, use these two first, okay? I got a finger paint. You got paint on your fingers? That's okay. 
All right, you keep going, buddy. Use those colors. Uh, no, no, hey, <laughs> he's slick. I already put some on. Use what you got first. Good boy. Nope, use what you got first. Okay. There you go. You gotta paint two more triangles. See those ones sitting up there? You got a white one up top. I don't have black. That's what? okay, use those colors and I'll get you some black. Yeah, there you go, you mix them up. That's, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> It'll make black. Ooh. Look at that. That is nice. Good job, buddy. All right. So anyways, we're going to dry this up and then uh, I'll tape it and then come right back to you. Okay. And now we're back uh, for this next part. Can mix it? Go ahead. You mix it. All right. For this next part, we're going to do some blue. I'm just going to kind of go right over the top of these areas. Okay. Go ahead and flick it, buddy. Put, it, put your hand in that stuff. There you go. You do some finger painting? Very nice. All right, so we're going to cover this up with some blue colors. Because this is going to be intentionally darker. I still want to keep some of that background color in it, though, even though it's taped up in certain areas. I do still want some random little bit of it, you know, like kind of poking through. Whatever the hell I'm trying to say. If any of that makes any sense. I'm going to fade it on up. Get a little white in there. Try to break it up. Just a scotch. I did it. Nice. Now put it on your painting. That is looking sharp. That's blending up good. Nice, buddy. There you go. Look at that big old handprint up there. That looks good. And then I want a little bit of gray in it. Randomly mixed. And I know it might not make any sense now, but what I got in my head, it kind of makes more sense for that. I still want more like lighter blues up top. And we'll just kind of blend all that garbage together. Okay, so now there is that section. Uh, let's see, little man's over there uh, finger painting. How you looking? You doing good? Oh, easy muscles. All right, and then uh, give me one second. I'm gonna do a little bit of flickage. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna on this one. I've decided we're gonna do a little something cleaner this time. Anyways, let's peel some tape. Where are we at here? And uh, I know I'm using garbage tape. I've already talked about that, and I've had plenty of people comment that uh, the tape needs to be better. Me up. Is it taking you up? But uh, even with the tape being kind of garbage, um, that's okay. Because I'm, I'm, I'm intending for these to not necessarily need to be clean. So it's really not a big deal, if I'm being honest. So anyway, we're going to peel this. I don't know what you do with it. Oh, go ahead and grab it. You want some more paint? Yeah. What color you want? Green and black. Now you already used those, bud. What about uh, what about orange? You want some orange? Look and at all this. Black and, and, 
and green. Here, set your plate down. Okay. Or, or hold it, whichever one you want. Okay, use that first. How's that? Let's see. Look, I now spread it. Spread it all over. Nice. That looks good. And I like the stripe, but I know you're going to blend it. And there it is. Very nice. Okay, so that's what we got from that. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this, and then we're going to start working on the next big portion of uh, what we're doing here. So hang on. All right, so this next part I'm going to do is... Uh, entirely experimental so how this is going to turn out i have no idea um, basically i'm going to use this little i don't know looks like a i mean it's a paintbrush but it looks like something a woman would use for powder in her face uh anyways we're going to use this i don't know how it's going to turn out uh, again but fuck it i've never painted like this before we're going to we're going to see what it does um so basically what i'm doing here is clouds this is bob rossi right here if you know what i'm saying yeah, go ahead and open it and squirt a little paint. Uh, grab your plate there. He's been really going to town on that. <laughs> it looks good. All right. So like I say, I'm just doing some random clouds right here. I still want my background stuff to, to come through. But this is actually, it's not landscape, but you'll see. You'll see what I got going on here. Oh, there's a little hair on it. Well, we'll have to get that in a minute. And then, like Bob Ross does, he always fluffs it. Two hairs and some air, right? Is that what he says? Just fluff the bottom of it. Very nice. Very nice, buddy. All right, so there's some clouds. And then the next thing is actually water. Yeah, we're doing a water scene here, people. Beautiful. Now go ahead and put it on there, buddy. Okay. That is, <laughs> can you show me that? Show me the bottle. Show me the paint bottle. No, not a, <laughs> okay, now sit. I taught him tricks. Uh, Anyways, so we're going to be doing um, water here. And I want to try to create the illusion of like waves almost. Or I don't know how to explain that. Does this make any sense? gonna get a little covered up here people but that's okay let's see what we got going on here in a minute Certainly know if this is the best one. Plus, I got a little too much blue in here. I'm really trying to get rid of it, but this brush. What's up, bud? Yeah, that's not how we treat paint equipment, but sure, if that's what you're after. You do what you got to do there, Slick. Let's see, am I even showing? No, see, I'm not recording anything either. I'm sorry if that looks like garbage, but um, the film, at least. But I'm, I'm doing the best I can here. So anyway, so we're going to do this. I'm trying to get the illusion of water. I don't know how well I'm doing on it, but... That's what we got going on here. side thing that Bob Ross always does. I don't know if that's helping anything or making it worse, but I think it kind of made it worse. We're getting too much blending. So 
Let's go back to this guy. And we'll get more white. Ugh. I can't open it. All right. Come on. Are you done painting? Okay. We'll just hang out then, bud. All right. I actually kind of like that one. Okay, go ahead, buddy. Oh, maybe the pull down is what you want. There we go. Look at that. That is nicer. I feel like that worked out a little bit better. If you get that pull down, see if I can't do that again. And I'm trying to rotate the brush too, so no two strokes are the same. I'm getting that pull down. It looks a little bit more like waves. Go ahead, use the, use the old uh, rug towel. That's it. Where is it. Right here, just right on the ground. Just use that. So what I also got was a little bit of silver here to try to accent stuff. I don't know how well that's gonna work though. But I'm going to add a little bit in it. Basically just going to do some like little stripes. There we go. And then maybe use a little bit of this bluish white up in here. Uh, yeah, we'll do it in just a minute, okay, buddy? We'll take a little break after the, and let this dry. All right, so anyways, that's the beginnings of it. I've got a little bit of water, got some clouds down. You can still see the abstract shit in the background. Um, yeah, and so then we're going to let that dry for a second, and then I got the next idea coming. So hang on one sec. Okay, and we're back. So we're going to start the next section of this. I've got uh, gray, orange, and black, and I don't really care if it mixes with those other ones a little bit because it doesn't matter. We're going to be using this guy right here, which is clean. It's just kind of stained and shit so anyway uh so this part is where we're going to be doing more of like the image aspect of it and again you know i haven't really done this very much so this is experimental for me um, but we're going to try it out anyway so what i want i want him back here yeah so we're going to do this kind of thing if, if this is making any sense to anybody right now, probably not. And then Boyo's over there eating chips. <laughs> My little man. So this part's going to be kind of like the tedious, maybe even uh, boring part of it. Let's see what I got here. There she well, I'll give you some later, buddy. Okay. And we're gonna do this. So in case you can't tell already, this is a ship. And I'm very shaky. I would not make it as a surgeon at all. And uh, because it's abstract, you know, like I'm not, I'm not trying to make anything that looks super realistic. And then we are also going to add a little bit of waves to this to get the boat look like it's not, you know, flying through the air um, here in a minute. But first things first, and again, I don't know if I'm even recording this. But anyway, so we're going to do some mass here. And they can look all funky. I don't care. Like I said, it's... Still kind of abstractish. I just want to ship in the background. We're actually going to do two ships in the background. Okay, give me one second, buddy, and I'll go grab you some. Okay. 
All right, and then I want, <clears throat> okay, I'll put your water in there. And then I want one really big one right here. And hopefully this one will look good and the other one will just kind of be more of like a background thing. And all I'm trying to really do right here is just get a general shape because they're, they're kind of a, an image on it, but they're not necessarily um, what it's, I don't know, it's, it's a still supposed to be abstract. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, it's not going to be super detailed. So it's like when Bob Ross does a barn. Anybody ever seen him do a barn in his paintings? And they just kind of look like a muddy square in the background. But you still know what it is, you know. That's basically what I'm going for here. <clears throat> there is a nice big mast. Okay. And then we can add this guy's a lot closer. So he's going to have some bigger ones on there. There we go. So that's that's those. Then I want to do some blacks on it. This is where we're going to try to add some detail into it. Make it actually look kind of shipish. Are you saying that looks good over there? Yeah. Looks like he's gone. Looks like what's gone? The ship? No, this. this. Oh, your chip? My chip is hiding. Nice. All right. Sorry, this is kind of the tedious process right here. And then we'll add over here. Try to do the same thing with this one here. Come on now. This shit always reminds me of my age because my back really starts killing me when I'm doing this stuff. I'm just like bent over a, an old closet door that's been removed, painting about six inches off the ground. Is that me? No, that's a ship, buddy. Oh. Okay, and then the last bit detail I want to do is I kind of wanted to get like a blend of orange and gray because I want it to look like it's got a little light hitting it but still have that kind of brownish wood boat look and I'm not going to do it on the sails I'm just going to do it on the mast all right, bud? You good? But I'm just going to do it on the sails and the actual boat itself. If I can get it. How are those chips? Good. <laughs> Atta boy. All right. So those are the ships. You can see that 
This one's closer, that one's in the background. So now what we're gonna do is go back. I'm gonna dry this, hang on buddy. I'm gonna dry this and then, uh, and then we'll go um, over it again with a little bit more of the like wave colors and stuff and try to get it to where it looks like they're actually hitting waves. I'm gonna come across the front of this guy, come across the front of that guy, try to blend that out. All right, Slick? <laughs> get out of here with that look. And then, uh, and then I think we'll be just about done. I might do something on it. I don't know yet. We're going to find out. Let me dry this sucker off. Okay, so uh, we're taped up. Everything's dry. I did go back over it um, and painted in some spots on the ship and then dried it up. I just added more detail because it was kind of bothering me that it wasn't there. All I did was basically use a little bit of white and accented the mass. I also added the uh, ropes. I kind of forgot that and it looked very barren. So once I added those kind of just lightly, I think it makes it look a little bit better. So now what we're going to do, and this is probably going to be what kills somebody watching it, uh, is we're going to just start painting over some shit again. Because I still want my abstract look to be in here. So just on part of it, I'm not going to go over the ships with this. So if you were worried about that, you can rest easy. Um, I'm going to just go over part of the painting with this deep blue. Try to bring some of that abstract background back up to the foreground. And then we will peel the tape and then continue from there doing our uh, other uh, images or whatever we got going on here, if that makes any sense at all. I still want to try to keep some of that background in it if I can. So I'm going to do it real light and just blend it all the way through till it disappears almost, becomes more opaque. Right, just like that. And then we're gonna peel the tape. You wanna take that for me, Slick? Put it in the pile there, buddy. Come on now. I struggle with this every time. Here, put that in the pile. And put that one in the pile. <laughs> you got it? And then this one in the pile. There we go. Okay, so that's uh, kind of like the little abstract background that we want to do. And then the next thing I want to try to do, let's see, I need a cleaner brush, I think. Has this one been used? I don't think so. Oops. We're 5% battery, so we might die doing this. We'll find out. Uh, but I want to use some white. And this part is supposed to be to... Oh, shit! <laughs> Not to do that, but we did it. Look at that. I dropped the brush. Uh, this part is to add the water effect to the ships. And that's a lot of paint right there. So I'll try to thin out if I can. that and then I want to do the same thing to this guy back here but I still want to keep these areas right here going Okay, so that's kind of looking like where we want it. I really like that. Just like that. And then back here, I wanted to add a little bit of, like something over it. Try to get this thing kind of faded out, but I'm picking up black with that, which I don't like, so. With you. Hang on a second, Slick. <laughs> Hang on a second.
Can I add a little bit of white? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you burning up from those chips? What's going on over here, man? You're sniffing like crazy. No. No? You're not? Hang on. Let me just spread this out and then we'll we'll do it, okay? Or you can just climb on me like you're doing. Yeah, there you go. Just climb all over me. Oh my gosh, I got a monkey on me. Your foot is going down my pants, boy. This is distracting. You realize it's hard to paint like this, right? Yeah. Okay, so long as you realize it. All right, and I think that that's good. So, all right, hang on, Slick. Stand back. You want to watch me peel it? Come over here, buddy. Take these. And I gotta work fast, because everything's drying. Or, I mean, everything's drying. I meant to say my phone is dying. Okay, so my phone died. Uh, as I was trying to record it, but I ended up finishing the painting. All I did after that really um, was add some of these black stripes of paint, and then uh, I did my signature down here. Oh, did you go down, buddy? Yeah. And then, uh, and then that was it. So that's base, and I peeled the tape around the edge, which I don't think people got to see. So, anyways, that's the painting right there. Um, just a couple of ships in the ocean with some like abstract kind of background and some random colors. Um, try to keep it pretty neutral. Um, anyways, that was it. So it was fun. And uh, little man here, the ones who did it, he did his little paintings too. That's his way in the background over there. But uh, we had a lot of fun, didn't we? Oh, you belong for the ride. Oh, oh. don't go down. Don't go down. Don't go down. Oh. Anyway, uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Um, where's the camera at? There it is. I appreciate everybody for watching it. If you do watch it, hang on, I got to get this guy. And uh, we had a lot of fun. We have fun painting. Look at your hair, boy. It's all poofed up. <laughs> Goofball. All right. Anyway, so thank you guys for uh, watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it was just kind of a different one than normal, and I was experimenting with a uh, different style of painting and stuff. But anyways, I appreciate you, uh, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Say bye. Bye.